Hi, my name's Eric Miller from Northwestern University's Nuance Center. Today I'm here to talk about something fairly simple that seems to severely confound a large number of users here. I am, of course, talking about... BAM! The sample holder for the Hitachi Field Emission SEMs. This is not difficult to understand, and it is not difficult to use. So let's take a look now at how it's supposed to be used, and the many ways it's not supposed to be used. Starting off, of course, I am wearing gloves. So whenever we're touching anything that goes into the microscope, we want to prevent from contaminating the vacuum system with our own grossness. So let's start uh, by disassembling the sample holder here for a second. And when we have it apart, we can take a look at how unbelievably complicated it is with all, it looks like, four of its parts. Many, many, par okay, well, it's really, it's really quite simple. It only has four parts. So first off, we have a base, and then we have a screw that goes into the base, and then we have uh, this locking ring that will go around the screw to immobilize the screw, and then we have a platform of some kind on the top that we're going to put our samples onto. This platform is really an adapter that will allow us to use pin stubs in the SEM instead of the Hitachi-style individual sample holders. And we have a few different kinds of these. Um, this big one holds four samples, of course, and then we have this small one that will hold a single pin stub, and then we have this one here that's tilted at 45 degrees if we wanted to uh, tilt our sample inside the microscope. Let's step into the Wayback Machine for a minute and take a look at this old base that came with the older Hitachi 4500, 4700, and 4800. It had one small problem. The threads for the screw here in the middle went all the way through from the front all the way straight out the back. So why is that bad? Well, people would start off by screwing the screw in from the wrong side, which of course would be disastrous since the sample holder would then get stuck inside the microscope. The second problem would be that people would screw the screw in from the top too far and then have it s the screw stick out the bottom of the base. Of course, also getting the sample stuck inside the microscope. Disastrous! Now, both of these were very simple problems that anyone who was awake could easily avoid. Nonetheless, it still happened a lot. So Hitachi has made a small change in the base's design for the SU-8000 series. In this base, the screw threads do not go all the way out the bottom. They stop right here, just before they get to the bottom. This means that we cannot screw the screw in from the wrong side. Even though I've seen people try it really, really hard, it doesn't work. As a side note, this is a good rule to follow when you're using an electron microscope. If you're trying really, really hard to do something, uh, it probably means you're doing something wrong. Physical operations like this should not be strenuous. So back to the sample holder. This also means that the screw cannot go in too far to stick out the bottom. Bink! Just like that. So this small change has solved two problems that people were having with uh, the base before. Unfortunately, it has introduced now one new problem. And if you're not paying attention, you can jam the screw into the bottom of this base and then get it really, really stuck. We do not want that ever. It is never necessary for any two parts on this sample holder to be stuck together and unable to be taken apart with your bare hands. So, if we put the four parts together, and then when you take it apart, you only have three parts, it means you did something wrong. So let's start off by seeing how to do it the correct way first. I'm going to start off by putting the locking ring here around the screw. Then I'm going to screw the screw into the base. I want to make sure the screw is not all the way at the bottom of the base, so maybe I might have to back the screw out a little bit. And then I'm going to tighten the locking ring down really tight. Like that. The locking ring is the only thing on the entire sample holder that we want to be really, really tight. Because once it's tight, the screw is now immobilized. And even if I wanted to move the screw, I can't. And the reason that we can tighten this locking ring down really tight is that it's designed to come apart again very easily. Ta-da, no problem. Lastly, I'm going to put our platform thing here on the top. Ta-da! Easy! Now I put a sample on the platform, tighten down the, uh, the set screw here, and then check to make sure that everything fit here underneath the height gauge. Just like that. Now this part with the height gauge is not optional, and it is 100% mandatory 100% of the time you use the SEM. Now, if I need to adjust the height of the sample up or down, all I need to do is loosen the locking ring, 
like this and uh, screw the screw in and out of the base to make it go higher or lower or lower and higher etc please notice that I am NOT unscrewing the platform off of the screw I am unscrewing the screw in and out of the base here okay so once I have the height to where I need it to be, then I just retighten the locking ring like this, and we're ready to go. And now if I want to disassemble the sample holder, we should be able to see that it comes apart again very easily, no problem whatsoever. It should go together very easily, and it should come apart again very easily. Now, let's look at the problem that users are likely to have when putting the sample holder together. The biggest issue is getting the screw stuck in the base. And this happens mainly in two different ways. First, let's say we put the screw in first. Now, we're not going to put the screw in all the way at the bottom. I mean, we're smarter than that, right? So, it's close to the bottom, but it's not all the way in. And it's not, you know, tight or anything. So, we're, we're, we're right. We're, we're okay, right? wrong what will happen now is when we're putting the locking ring here onto the screw what is going to happen most likely is we're going to end up screwing that screw in just a little bit in the process of doing this and then once we tighten the locking ring down real tight like this that's going to jam that screw right into the bottom of uh, the base here right where we do not want it to go and that will get it stuck and if I didn't make it clear already, we do not want the screw to get all the way to the bottom of this base here. It will get stuck. Okay, the more common way of getting the screw stuck is even worse. Some users are afraid of adequately tightening the locking ring, or they just don't understand what the locking ring is there to do. So a user puts the screw in and does not tighten the locking ring enough to immobilize the screw. So if the screw can still move around, what's going to happen when I start to screw the platform on the top here? Well, all it's going to do is just screw that screw in all the way to the bottom of the base, which is exactly where we don't want it to be. And man, that is really, really going to get that stuck in there. Bad. So we need to make sure that the screw is not all the way at the bottom of the base before we tighten the locking ring. And we need to make sure that the locking ring is tight enough. And we'll know that it's tight enough if we cannot turn this screw. If you can turn this screw, the locking ring is not tight enough. The last issue we have is the platform. And it's easy to screw it on so tight that it will not come off. And this right here is about how tight it needs to be. See? It's not loose if I wiggle it around, but if I want to take it apart again, Oh look, it comes apart very easily. That's it. Eh, about that tight. So one last time for everyone, the locking ring starts off going around the screw. Like this. We'll put the screw into the base. Like this. And then we make sure that the screw is not all the way uh, in the bottom of the base. We're good. Then we'll tighten down the locking ring very tight. So tight that the screw does not move anymore and then we're going to put the platform on the top like so and very easy okay i didn't stage this at all i honestly went while i was filming this into the other uh, microscope room to look at the other sample holder and we can see that it is put together completely wrong uh, first off we have the locking ring up here where the, s the platform is and what does it do up there, you ask? And I can tell you absolutely nothing. Um, it does not immobilize the screw. So that means that when we screwed the platform onto the end of the screw, it screwed the screw and got it jammed right in here into the bottom of the base. So if I try and take this apart right now, it is not going to come all the way apart. I can guarantee you. So look, uh, the screw is completely jammed in there, like severely. So you can see the strip threads here on the uh, top of this screw from trying to pry it out of this base. And you can also see I put a, <laughs> a slot for a screwdriver in here so I can get it out easier. But still, totally, totally wrong.